This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and we're going to do a fun and simple origami Christmas tree. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to cut out some squares in the color that you'd like your tree to be. This is just some textured paper and it's kind of lightweight. You can use a heavier weight if you want. And you want to cut these out. Um, this one is a two inch, two and a half inch, three inch, and three and a half inch squares. Okay, so once you have this, you're going to need two of each. So you're going to need a front of the tree and a back of the tree. So you're going to need two of each of these squares. I'm also going to be making a trunk for my tree. So I thought this wood grain would be nice, but you can use whatever paper you have. You want to make it fun. So each of these squares are going to get the same fold. So I'm going to show you using the larger square because it's just super easy for you to see it visually. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your square and you're going to fold it diagonally corner to corner, just like that. And then you're going to open it up and go in the other direction and fold it right there on the line. Just like that. So when we unfold it, now you've got the X there. Now you're going to take it and fold your square in half. Super easy folds here. Um, I love origami. Uh, when I was a librarian in the Bronx, New York, it was such a fun thing to do, activity to do with the kids. And so I am really loving this project. It's bringing back memories. Okay, so once I unfolded this, right, I'm going to turn it this way now, and you're going to fold it in half again, going in the other direction. Okay, so now you've got this. Now you're just going to bend it down like this. And you should be able to see a triangle shape right here. Right here. So what you're going to do is simply take this edge here and fold it in just like that and press it together. It should fold in pretty simple. So you have this right here. You're going to take this part here and fold it under. So now you have that triangle shape. Now you're going to take this and fold it down just like that. You're taking this and not folding it on the line, but you're folding it right up against the line so you have this little wing coming down here. I don't know what else to call it. I'll just call it a wing. Okay, just so you can see. And then you take the other one and you meet it up in the middle, just like that. Kind of reminds me of a kite shape, just right here. Okay, so that forms part of your tree. Let's do it one more time just so you get it, because once you get this, you're good to go. So we're going to do it again. Now, if you see this like this, that's a good thing. You'll see why when, as we start to put our tree together. Now you're going to take this, we're going to do it again, same fold. It's just a smaller paper. Oh, let's do in the diagonally. Open it up. Diagonally. Open up your square again. Now you're just going to go right across and fold your square in half. And I did this in some other colors and it looks gorgeous. I wanted to do it in a solid color so you can kind of really see the folds. Just open that up again. And we got to make one more line across here. Because this is the most important part right here, is that folding. Getting your creases in there. Okay, so now that you got that, now you're going to just keep it. This side is open, okay? So that's facing down now. You're going to take this and you're going to just push it in just like that and crease it. Push this side in. Fold that in. 
and give that a good crease and now you have that flap there you have two flaps actually underneath there two flaps you're going to take that top flap fold it toward that center crease just like that you're going to take the other flap fold it in toward the center and there you have the other part of your tree so you see how this is starting to kind of build on the bottom the largest one is going to be on the bottom and then you just get smaller and smaller so I'm going to do the other two and then I'll show you how we're going to assemble it okay so here's what we have once we fold all four pieces using the same fold actually you're going to have eight pieces so you should have two of these two of this size, two of this size, and two of this size. And you'll see why in a moment. Well, let me show you how we're gonna put these together. So I'm gonna take my larger one, and I'm just gonna use my glue stick. Put a little bit of glue on the tip here. Not too much, just around the tip there. And then I'm just gonna tuck it right in here. See that little space right there? Just tuck it right in there. And then I just kind of keep them together like that. Just like that, right? And then we're going to take this one right here, put a little glue right there. You don't need a whole lot. I think this would be a great family craft. Do something with the kids like this. You decorate the tree. And... I'm going to tuck it under right there. And you're going to take your last piece. Same thing. See how you're building your tree and look how pretty that looks. And you're just tucking it right inside here. Because you want this to stand out. That gives you your um, tree that 3D effect. And look how adorable that looks. Now, this is the reason why you need two. Because we're going to take these and put them together. Just a little bit together. Yep. So you're just going to take a little bit of glue and put these together. And of course, mine is not matching up perfectly. So if the best thing to do is have them side by side and kind of try to match them up. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to do it just like this. It'll still work. Okay, so I'm going to take some art glitter glue. And I'm going to take some jute twine. And so now I need to put something on here so that it can hang as an ornament. So I need a really small bell. Let's see. I think I have one here. This one will be perfect for what I'm trying to do here. Let's see if we can get that strung up. Okay, let's see. Easiest way to do this is to just push this right through here. And these are some Dollar Tree bells I got a while back. I'll take my little pokey tool here and just push that through. Just like that. I really want that jute twine because it, to me it looks really cute like this. Okay, so... Okay, so once you get that on like that, let's start to glue our stuff together. So you're gonna take both of these, you're gonna face them back to back on that flat side. Aren't these adorable? And if you want, you can hot glue that on there. I'm just gonna use this. Just maybe right about there. Okay, so look how quickly that, that glue is pretty good. Let's see. Let's hold it on there for just a moment. And I'm just going to put some glue on there and mash those 
two things together, the two trees. Imagine how fun this will be for the kids. And don't stress yourself about trying to match it up, you know, like the exact same size. It still works. Trees are dimensional. They have character, right? Okay, so look at that. Now you've got your bell. Let me just hold this together a little bit more. Look at how adorable this is. I am so loving these little trees. And you can make them in green, you can make them in polka dot paper. Okay, so now I need to fold this over. Let's see. Let's put some glue on here. Make me a little tree stump there. I'm just going to glue it right in here. I'm not going to glue it, glue this whole section down. I'm just going to put that right up in there. Let's see. So I really don't want my tree to be flat. I want it to be, I want it to have that dimension on it. Now, if you want to just use one side of this, you can and kind of place it on a, a card. I think that would look really pretty as a, a, a card decoration. So you don't have both sides. You just have the one side and you press it flat onto a card. I think that would be a great idea. But look how adorable that is. And it's not perfect because it doesn't have to be, right? You just have fun with it. Let me show you the other ones that I did. Look how adorable this is. Could you imagine making a bunch of these and putting them on your tree as decorations or even putting them as a, a little tag on a gift? I think that would be cute too. Or making something for some a teacher or some people at your office. Look at how adorable this is. Look at that. And this is just paper I have lying around so you can grab up your paper Rewind the video till you get that fold. But once you get that fold and you figure that out, you're good to go. You can make a ton of these. And these, I just added some little uh, glittery um, rhinestones to it just to give it that little bling for Christmas. So I hope this inspired you to make your own. I am really loving the way these look. And I think I'm going to make a bunch more. So I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you real soon. Bye.